What's up guys, my name is Elias and welcome to your second tutorial on jQuery and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about um, selectors. Since selectors are very important, I can barely mention any piece of code written in jQuery without the use of selectors. And if you're already familiar with CSS and you already work with it, uh, you have to know what they are. And so you can actually skip this video and like get to the next one. Pretty much. Um, so uh, if you don't know what CSS is, uh, or if you don't know how to style an element, you can follow along. Let's add a style tag first. Okay, let's imagine we have a button. And let's say it's button 1. And we want this button not to be standard. We want this button to be uh, larger. So I can just type button. Uh, font size uh, 20 pixel so it got larger and now I want to create in any some another some another button say it's button 2 and we have two buttons like the same size so, and what if I only want my first button to be large and the second button to be small so so what should I do I have to select a button so how do I do that and there are two options the first option is I can use class, so I can use class of big, for example, and use class of small. And then instead of selecting all the buttons here, I can select only uh, big ones. So, and I put dot, dot stands for class. It means um, CSS, go ahead and select all the elements in this document which have uh, class big, and this is this button here and make it uh, large like font size 20 and the other element should not be changed so this is what we done this is button 1 is large and button 2 is tiny uh, and what if we want um, our button small to be uh, even more like even smaller we can say uh, should be font size like 10 or something yeah or Let's let's say eight. Great. Um, and what if I I want to say I want to have like three buttons of like three big buttons, like button uh, one point one and button one point whatever two, and they all have to be big. But uh, simultaneously, I want this very button to be yellow. How do I do that? Huh. This is where I would use IDs. So ID is a unique name of an element. I can say it should be yellow. No, I want to use actually green because it looks nicer. And in order to select this very element with green ID, I use route. I type um, route and the class name, which is green, properties, and I would just say color green. Refresh. And now I see uh, my three large buttons with the cla class large, and only one button is green. You're probably um, would ask me uh, why you're talking about CSS and selectors. I mean, what's going on? So there's a good news for you guys. Um, jQuery uses the same selectors, like really same selectors as a uh, CSS use. So um, let me just show an example. For example, uh, what if I want to select my element 1.1 and make it disappear? Here's how I do that. I I call jQuery by using this dollar sign. I can type uh, jQuery instead, but uh, I will use this dollar sign. And in my brackets, in my parentheses I use this route and type the ID which is green like this very ID and then uh, I put dot and an action let's say I, I want to hide it let's run the code yeah and it's gone and let's say I want to hide all the elements with class um, big so what do I do here I replace this route with a dot, and it means I'm referring to the whole class. 
and I type big instead. And so I'm I'm about to hide all the elements uh, which have the class of big. Let's see. Yeah, they are gone. So this is pretty much how um, a simple jQuery selector works. There are um, way more complicated combinations of selectors, and um, sometimes you have like very uh, large structures of um, of your HTML document, and you want to select any certain element, so you would use a lot of selectors. So this is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned new stuff. And uh, in the next tutorial, we'll be um, talking more on s about selectors and doing some more um, exercises. So if you have any questions, go ahead and ask. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.